Most of us know, or at least have read about, people who've made money on cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin. Cryptocurrencies are a form of money designed to work through a computer network that's not reliant on a government or a bank. Here's the financial journalist and author, Paul Lewis. Cryptocurrency was invented to be, first of all, not centralized, so there's no central bank. Um, secondly, it, it was stored in a sort of what they call a ledger, a blockchain ledger, so that everyone's record is visible to everyone else so you know you can you can see who's on there at any one time and because it's decentralized and because it's it's invented on a computer not by a government it was supposed to be an alternative way of paying for things but it's really been hijacked by uh, I suppose it, investors is a kind word but hijacked by a lot of criminals actually a lot of gamblers people who want to make money quickly. And of course, the value of, of the most famous cryptocurrency, Bitcoin, has gone from a dollar to whatever it is now. So people have made money. They've, they've bought them and they've gone up in value and they've, they've sold them if they're lucky. The problem with it is it's surrounded by criminals. Um, you know, if it's a gamble, uh, the criminals are all around the, the gambling house. It's like the Wild West. Or in some cases, they even run the gambling house. 2022 was a dreadful year for cryptocurrencies. Values fell sharply as confidence plummeted amid the collapse of several crypto exchanges, notably one called FTX. The value of these crypto assets is bound to go up and down again, but the bottom line is they're very risky. There is a real danger that you will lose your money. And one bank told me, that they had banned any, any movement of money from bank accounts into cryptocurrency because one in five of those movements was fraudulent and they wanted to protect their customers and they have to say themselves because they do reimburse people at bank if they lose money. So it, it really is very dangerous and why I say to people, don't ever, ever buy it. If you're very careful, if you understand the whole thing thoroughly and you don't put more money in than you can happily lose, then you might want to try it. But the safest advice is don't do it. Or as I say, if you want to dip a toe in cryptocurrency, make sure it's a toe you're willing to lose because you may well do so. Another point to remember is that crypto is not really a proper investment at all in that it doesn't produce a return. For Paul Lewis, it's essentially a gamble. So it produces no income and the only way you make money is by selling it to someone at a future date when it's worth more. And that's not really how investment should work. Investment should keep your money safe and pay you a return, whether you take that and spend it or just use it to build your investment up. So it's not an investment. I call it gambling because you're gambling that when you want to sell it, there'll be somebody foolish or perhaps sensible enough to buy it off you at that price, but you don't know that's going to happen. You've no idea whether that will happen. One more thing. If you are tempted to speculate on cryptocurrencies, don't rush in. Better still, consult a financial advisor.